Wait, why don't we just talk normally? It's me, Renji, and it's time for the Social Media Roundup, the show where we check out what's going on in the social media world in the Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ. And don't worry, nothing's wrong with your television, or computer, phone, whatever you're watching this on. Today's episode, except for your posts, will be in black and white. Now let's see how everyone's doing in the INC Photo A Day Challenge. We'll start recapping with day five, favorite 50th moment. This post comes from hashtag MTS Rock Solid. This picture looks so dramatic. Lissa Fay writes, day five, dancing the prayer. During our district's 50th in the West celebration is definitely one of my favorite 50th moments. Can't help thinking back on all the fun, laughters, bruises, sweat, and sacrifices that led to this very special moment. Another 50th moment was shared by Janella La from hashtag Strive Hawaii. My favorite 50th moment was being able to perform in the Color Guard for our district's 50th celebration. Color Guard has always played an important factor in my life, and I was so happy to be able to do something that I love for God. If you haven't seen their performances, check out Hawaii's One Flock and One Shepherd musical on the INC 50 West YouTube channel. They did so well. We'll put a link in the description box below. You can also check out Lissa Fay and the rest of the brethren from Mountain States in their musical on that channel as well. Day 6 of the INC Photo A Day Challenge was a place to think. Let's see where you guys have your deep thoughts. John Fangalingan's place to think is on the go on a trolley. I don't get a lot of time for myself to just think, so I make do with the time I have. My place to think is on the trolley. Sometimes I get too deep in thought though. I once ended up a lot farther than where I was trying to go to, lol. Oh goodness, I can relate. I do a lot of my thinking when I'm stuck in traffic. This next favorite place to think is shared by organist Shalon Lon from the District of Texas. My favorite part of being an organist is practicing alone at the chapel and allowing myself and my heart to be completely consumed in inspiration so that I can take a moment in between lines to just feel. Hashtag organist life. On to day seven, acts of kindness. This next post comes from a sister from Southern California, where I'm sure every other driver has road rage, but not Regine.inc. Day seven, act of kindness. Aside from letting people cut in front of me while driving, today I paid for someone's valet. I myself don't even use valet. You are too kind, girl. This next act of kindness is a cute one, and it comes from a post shared by Joanna with an H. Aw, who is this little guy? Gathered some of Isaac's pre-loved toys to donate to charity. He may not understand it yet, but maybe one day he'll look at this post and realize we tried our best to teach him how to give back, even at the young age of two. Or maybe he'll cry and go looking for his toys, one or the other. Good job, Isaac. I'm sure these toys will make a lot of kids happy. Now day eight is a theme we've heard this whole year, purified like gold. One post in particular that caught our attention was from Arlene Janice, who shared this photo of her at her mother's side while she was recovering from triple bypass heart surgery. In her post, she recollects her family's trials in 2018, but still remains hopeful and fateful. This year is coming to a close, and although there were some hard times this year, I can already see what great blessings God has in store for us. There are new hopes for us, new dreams, and new goals. This year was really busy, and it had many of us collect a whole bunch of frequent flyer miles. Let's see some of the places you guys visited with day nine of the INC Photo A Day Challenge. Chapel I visited this year. Marie Antoinette G visited all these houses of worship. Locals of San Jose, Corona, San Francisco, Temecula, Riverside, South San Diego, Commonwealth, Coron, Templo Central, and Matata Laib. You thought that was a lot? 
check out this post from Dina Marie.inc. Here is her list. We're just going to put this on the screen and you guys can read. Tiara Lin visited the House of Worship in Honolulu, Hawaii. And guess who she saw? We saw Brother Bob Pauline from the INC media show That's in the Bible, and he talked to my grandpa for a while about Guam. Hi, Kabob! And to close off, this week's episode is day 10 of the INC Photo a Day Challenge, Workspace. These photos come from Elaine Pablo, who works at a Veterans Affairs Center in Houston, Texas. She writes, Sometimes I get in the Rewalk P6.0 to help train the trainers and teach the veterans in how to use the device. That is so cool! Mr. and Mrs. Katabai shared her workspace that has an INC flag on it. She says, People see my flag and ask me about it. It's a chance for me to share my faith. What a great conversation starter. We're only about a third of the way through the IMC Photo A Day Challenge, so you can still catch up. Maybe you guys can find a way to incorporate all the categories in one photo. And if you want to see more of what people posted, just check out the hashtag IMC Photo A Day. That's it for today's episode. We hope everyone has a blessed year and Thanksgiving week. Weekend. Don't forget to post your pictures and tag us so we can feature you next week. Also, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe button, and that notification icon so you'll never miss an episode of the Social Media Roundup. Bye guys!